Hi, Dr. Romano. I see you're still working. What are you up to now? Hi, I want to go over an organic chemistry question for the DAT study group, so come around. Let's have a look. Okay, Dr. Romano. This is a sequence problem, and um, I'm going to go through a whole bunch of steps, and what we're going to do is arrive at a final target. What we're going to do in the first step is we're going to do a Friedel Craft alkylation using an aluminum chloride Lewis acid catalyst. Then from A to B, I'm going to do a side chain halogenation where I'm going to introduce a bromine onto the molecule. Then from B to C, I'm going to do an elimination and I'm going to install a double bond. Then I'm going to hydrate and put an alcohol group on the molecule. And then these next two steps, I'm going to give you time to think about what Cl3COOH followed by sodium azid would do. That would give me product E. And then I'm going to do a reduction with lithium aluminum hydride and ether and water. And then the most important step, I am going to take a dihalide. And we're going to get, a, we're going to get our target. The first thing we're going to do is when we do the Friedel Craft reaction is we're going to put the R group onto the benzene ring. So we come up with this. Once I get this as my first product, what we're then going to do is we're going to add bromine alight, and bromine alight is going to add a bromine to the benzylic position. So let's draw this. There's our six-membered ring, and we add a bromine right here. Once we got this put on, we're going to do an elimination. We're going to remove off this. And we're going to remove off the H from here. And that will give me this. That'll put me, if we took this here, we put a double bond there. So you should be able to get to that point relatively easy. Friedel craft alkylation, remove off the first hydrogen. That's off the benzene ring. That's a benzylic. This happens to be a tertiary position. So the intermediate would have been a tertiary radical. Now, once we did that, then I did an elimination to get to here. Now, when you add water to this, an acid, the carbon with the most H's gets the H. You can almost envision you get the plus charge here and then attack. So I'll put that here. We're going to get this. And we get the OH. Now, once we got the OH, Cl3COOH is just an acid. So it's going to protonate. We're going to dump out the water from a carbocation. And then NaN3 simply comes in and, and finishes the job off as a nucleophile. So what that would do, it would give me this. We got this. And there's my N3. So we've just attacked. Now, this step from here to here, we're going to set up a leaving group. Nitrogen gas leaves, it's one of our best leaving groups, and we would end up with this. We get NH2. So as you can see, the reduction of an azid gives me my primary amine. Now, all we're going to really do here is going to do a double SN2 reaction. These electrons from here will capture one of the bromines, and then the other one, what we'll do is come around and do another second attack. So in other words, we would come up with this. Let's see if we got this, we got this, there's the nitrogen, and then we come up with this. So we've done another two simultaneous SN2 attacks. All right, and that would be the final problem or the final product, but notice how I installed this big nitrogen moiety up here. So what I did is mentally, if you work retrosynthetically, if you work this backwards, you can kind of see what I've done. You had this and you had this, and then we ended up doing an SN2 to here, and that put 
this on and then I did the same thing to here to put this on. All right, I hope that gives you a good idea of what was done and how I went about doing this to get the final product. So this would have been the final product with the big ring system. All right, um, that was a tough question. It's a very famous drug, by the way. I'm not gonna give you the name. I don't wanna get you, give you any bad ideas. It's a very okay. famous drug and it's bad news. But anyway, this is a good synthesis of that particular molecule. Okay, good day. Are you to gonna you. be working some more, Dr. Romano? Can I expect to see a couple more problems today? You most certainly can. Good day to you. Thank you, Dr. Romano. Good day to you, sir.